So hello YouTube, this is Melody and I'm back with another haul and this one is going to be Joanne.com. Um, probably, I don't know, three weeks a month ago they had um, just about all of their crafty and stamping and artsy type stuff um, on sale for 50% off. I think some things were 40% but most of it was roughly 50%. And then they had a $1.99 shipping code. So um, that was the time to take advantage of the great sale. So let me show you what I got. I got these cute little bunnies. Um, they're wood from Kaiser Craft. I got these little wiener dogs, also by Kaiser Craft. I had looked at this stamp several times and just never ordered it. Um, this one is the uh, leaves and this beautiful pad and as you know um, for those of us here in the US Kaiser Craft is um, kind of pricey but this was $5.69 from like $8.99 or $9.99 so pretty decent price you know once you factor in the shipping for your whole box so I took advantage of that and let me show you this one by the way is True Romance very pretty and girly you get um, die cut sheets in there really pretty I love when um, stuff has the words on it that's got foil really pretty it's kind of a gold coppery color that's really pretty get that one This one is really neat. If you are a fussy cutter, you can <laughs> do some really crazy stuff with that one. Really pretty. This one's got that uh, glossy accents type stuff on it. So I was looking for something that was very Mother's Day and very girly and feminine. And I found it. Um, I got this stamp from Deep Red Stamps. And it is a peacock. And it is pretty thick red rubber. That's what it looks like in the package. Probably, let's see, probably about a two inch stamp. Really cool. This one is way cool. It's a poppy with word uh, script. And it is by Penny Black. I can't remember the price, um, but it was on sale. And. I broke down and got the, the block, which I've already used um, by Cream Prima for the um, Prima Dolls by Julie Nutting because I did need a good size block. And so I broke down and finally bought it, but I waited for the sale. This I think is going to be so fun to play with. Um, it's Neon Red Ink by Hero Arts. And it's a dye ink. And let's see, it says it's acid and archival, fade resistant on glossy papers, waterproof for watercolors and markers. So all you crafty ladies and mixed media maniacs, you can use that. Um, I finally found the Tim Holtz Ideology, the new metal from, for 2014. And of course it had the butterfly, so that's why I've been stalking it. This one's called Nature. Um, it was on sale, still not super cheap, but it was on sale. I think it was about $5.99 or $6, bucks, some, six fifty, dollars something like that. But you get six pieces, so basically a dollar a piece. And um, it's not something I can readily find in my area. So it was worth it to me. I got one of the Tim Holtz stencils. This one is the Clockwork. These are pretty cool because they fit the tag shape. And they give you the shape of the tag so you can cut that out. So you get kind of like two for one. And then I got the one that's the dots. I got um, a Rhonda Palazzari stencil from um, Crafters Workshop. This is six by six size. I got the six by six cameras. Also by Rhonda Palazzari. Really cool. And I got this one. This one is designed by someone named Jamie for the Crafters Workshop. It is also six by six. I picked up some of the Dew Crafts um, fabric paper. 
it is 12 by 12. I think there's only uh, one sheet in here, but it's fabric and it's adhesive and it's really girly and frou frou. That one I think is considered the blue one and this one is considered the green one. I don't know if you can see the difference. Hopefully you can. Gotta look at it real close, but there is a difference. I picked up a Prima Bingo stamp. This was only like a dollar nine. Really cute for ATCs and um, cards. That one says hello. And I had picked up a pack of these before um, from Scrapbook, your Scrapbook Supply. These are Iron Orchid Designs Everyday Vintage for Prima, and they're paintables. It's um, printed water watercolor cards. And this is the three by four. I've colored it up with um, just some cheapy little pan watercolors so you can see what you can do. And of course, it's a pretty good weight paper, so you can probably um, stencil on it as well. I'll show you some of the prints for those of you who may not have seen them. That could be cute for steampunk or something. This makes me smile. Taking it all in stride. These are the big ones. These are four by six. This is really pretty, this rose. And Marie Antoinette, a journal one. You can always add a picture to it too for you project lifers and people who do the sleeved uh, scrapbooking. This one's really pretty. I think there's 16 pieces in that pack, yeah. So that was um, joanne.com. Real quick, I went by the Dollar Tree. I found two uh, new washi sticky tapes that I hadn't seen before and these are in a lacy pattern 22 millimeters two millimeters for a dollar a dollar each that's not too bad and um lo and behold AC Moore had Heidi Swap and I think this is new this one's called favorite things let me show you the beautiful gorgeous colors so pretty you can do all kinds of things with that That's probably my favorite piece right there because it looks like watercolor. So pretty. And this one's pretty too. This one, you just, you could, you know, do a little stenciling around the edges and frame that and you'd have yourself some ready-made artwork. And that was only $2.99. They had an end cap of $2.99 um, 6x6 pads. A lot of them I'd never seen before, but um, I went in to use my 50% off coupon on something that was going to be $5 with the 50%. And so I was like, you cannot spend more than 10 bucks in here. So I did, I met my goal. So I got this pad, my $5 item with my half off coupon. And then I found this cute little paint set, neon acrylic paints in the little pots. And um, 88 cents, it was on sale. So I thought that was pretty good, six colors. And they are so vibrant and fun. I cannot wait to have a few free minutes all by myself so I can stick my fingers in there and do something. And they look pretty creamy too. They'll be cool matched up with the ink pad too. So let me know what you think. Have a great day. Oh, I found these at um, Michael's too. They only had one or two pieces and they were on that 60% off sales. They came to like $1.19. And I thought these would look so nice with that paper. So I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I did find, oh, oh, oh. And this was 50% off and it's modeling paste by uh, Artist Loft. And that's from Michaels as well. So there is some mixed media mayhem that's going to be happening. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ta-ta.